The weekend began under less than perfect conditions. At one point, the wind chill factor reached 45 degrees below zero. It's not easy out there. Um, it's hard to get any feel for the ice. It's so hard and it breaks away when you push. And with the wind this strong, it's, your timing gets thrown off. And, but you just, you know, do what you can with it. Despite the weather, the East German women who've held the sprint championship title since 1980 were there while the top Japanese and Soviet men elected not to attend. Instead, they went directly to Calgary to train. I think the reason behind that is that there's such a difference between Calgary and it being indoors and the conditions being ideal versus here at West Dallas where you really have to battle against Mother Nature. World Sprint Champions are determined by a two-day, four-race competition on a 400-meter track. A 500-meter and 1,000-meter race are each skated twice. Though they skate in pairs, competitors are actually racing against the clock. Final standings are determined by a point system. That's based on each skater's times over the four races. In the 500 meters, entrants start together and skate for one and a quarter laps. In the 1,000 meters, they skate for two and a half laps. Since the distance on the inside lane is shorter than the outside, skaters begin in a staggered start. Finally, to further ensure equal distances, skaters swap lanes once each lap in the backstretch. This is known as the crossover. By Saturday's 1,000 meter race against Uwe Jens May of East Germany, hometown boy Dan Jansen was the man to beat. Coming off a frustrating season plagued by mononucleosis and Preoccupied by his sister's battle with leukemia, he was still skating like a champion. I know that my sister doesn't want me thinking about her at the times when, you know, when she and I want myself to do good. So when the big meets come, it just kind of happens. At the end of the first day, Dan Jansen of the U.S. was first, Uwe Jens May of East Germany second, and Buck Valov of Russia was third and Eric Flame a surprising fourth. Standings for the women, the East Germans led with Bonnie Blair of the United States in third. On Sunday, though it snowed, weather conditions had improved enough for Karen Kania of East Germany to break Bonnie Blair's two-year-old track record in the 1,000 meters. Meanwhile, a rematch was in the works in the 500 the current and former world record holders, Krista Rothenberger versus Bonnie Blair. As far as getting the world record back, uh, this weekend I don't think that's really within reach. With Krista's better start, she led Bonnie at the 100 meter split and for most of the race. But spurred on by the cheers, Bonnie rallied, beating her rival and assuring herself a medal, if not a new world record. The women finished the competition as they had the previous day. Krista Rothenberger of East Germany was first, Karen Kania of East Germany was second, and Bonnie Blair of the U.S. third. In the men's competition, the most significant race of the day was Eric Flame's 1,000 meters against teammate Eric Hendrickson. Flame skated an excellent race and logged the best time in that event all weekend. Leader Dan Jansen drew the Soviet Andrei Bakvalov in the 500. With his hometown fans cheering him on, Jansen led throughout the race and brought himself one step closer to the championship.
By the end of the day, Jansen had clinched it, with Uwe Jens May of East Germany second and Eric Flame of the United States a good third. Feels great, it really does, and uh, do it at home is, is, you know, all the better. Now, update. Joining us. Great 